Hey, thanks for watching CNN 10. Our daily 10 minute shows are on pause for the summer, but we will be posting clips like this Monday through Friday until our regular programming resumes in August. So please enjoy, and to get notified of our content, please like and subscribe to this channel and keep up with us at CNN10.com. Volcanic eruptions have devastated communities for centuries, killing tens of thousands of people around the world. The haunted mountain of Papua in New Guinea bursts into eruption. Lava, majestic and menacing, begins its slow, rumbling and relentless journey downward, down to the towns and villages that await its inevitable coming with terror. And with about 1,500 volcanoes on Earth, it's no wonder we worry about these mountains of molten rock. But why do they erupt? More than 80% of the Earth's surface above and below sea level is volcanic, and deep below, the Earth's tectonic plates are always moving. Most volcanic activity occurs where these plates collide. Deep within the Earth, it is so hot that rocks slowly melt and become magma. Because this flowing substance is lighter than the rocks around it, it rises. When some of these tectonic plates shift, the magma rises even higher. Some of the magma pushes through the cracks in the Earth's crust, at vents and at fissures, and reaches the surface where it is then called lava. What kind of eruption the volcano will have depends on the properties of the magma. Thin and runny magma means gas trying to escape can do so easily. When this happens, the lava will flow out of the volcano. We've seen this with Hawaii's volcanoes. Because the lava flows slowly, people can get away quickly, and it rarely results in victims. But thick and sticky magma is a different story. There's less room for gases to escape, and the pressure mounts gas gets trapped in the magma, which then explodes at the surface. This is called an explosive eruption, and we've seen it with Mount Etna in Sicily and Mount St. Helens in the US. Explosive volcanic eruptions can be dangerous and deadly. Lava, ash, and debris can destroy everything in their path. In some cases, these eruptions have buried entire communities, like Mount Vesuvius in Pompeii and Mount Pelée in Martinique. About 500 volcanoes have erupted since we started keeping records, many around the Ring of Fire, an area from New Zealand to the coast of South America where there are the most subduction zones and plate movements. All volcanic activity is closely monitored by scientists around the world. By tracking active volcanoes, experts can see the warning signs and alert the public before an eruption. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our newsletter at CNN10.com and we'll see you in August for daily episodes of CNN 10. I'm Carl Azus.